it is VCSA upgrade time. Now, you always want to back up before you do something like this, and you want to read the release notes for 6.5 update 1D. And you want to be doing this before you upgrade ESXi host to the very latest. All right, with all that out of the way, I'm going to show you how simple this is and try to keep this video short and concise. Right click, snapshot, take a snapshot. If you don't have any snapshots whatsoever, not a bad idea, a quick way to roll back. It's not a backup really, but it is a way to recover quickly if something seems to go wrong once you've done this update. All right, so that's an optional step. That's just me kind of covering my bases, making sure I have a snapshot should things go wrong with this. Next, VAMI interface. So we point our browser to port 5480. Actually, I can show you this. weird. Oh, it's on my other screen here. Just one moment. Be right with you. And um, once we have that up, that's weird. It's acting strange. You point your browser to 5480 and you get the VAMI interface, right? You log in, you point to the VCSA appliance, colon 5480, type in username and password and you get this screen. And there we go. I have a way to show you this. So VAMI is done like this. There's the URL, vcsa.lab.local in my case, port 5480 and log in that way. Let's do a little redirect. Log in with username and password and you get this. Great, now I showed you that. Now here I've got the URL bar missing for a little more slim approach, a little less clutter. All right, cool, we're ready. Uh, what is this? This is how simple it's gotten if you haven't re updated VCSA lately. No command line stuff, just click on update, check updates, check repository, it's actually going to hit the internet, and we're going to go from this build to a new build. Last time I did this was October, apparently. It found the new one. We can click on more details. We want to read more about it. Cool. Uh, let's look at that again. VC update one. Okay, interesting. That's what it's, all the details. Click on install updates, install all, all updates, and accept. Now I have directions at tinkertry.com showing you all this. License agreement. All right, so now it's doing the upgrade. While that's going here, I'm going to take a moment to show you the article that I'm talking about here. Whoops. All right, there's the article, and I've got screenshots. Uh, or just a single screenshot, which shows you one, two, three, four, the things to click on. Or a sequence of screenshots. Log in, do your update. All right, so it's all nicely documented for you. I should be doing a new article uh, based on this new version, but really the updates are the same from here forward, uh, rather straightforward. Okay, when this is done here, I'll want to go ahead and test it. Um, and it does do a reboot, so we can get ready for that. Let's watch it reboot, right? So here's the summary screen for the VM that is being upgraded right now. When it's done, I'll do a simple reboot of the VM through the VME interface. That's easily possible. I'll show you where that is. Let it finish spinning up and log back into it. Make sure everything seems like it's still working fine. Do we have a valid cluster? Does it see the ESXi host? And maybe some other test. Once I'm comfortable with all that, then I'll delete the snapshots and move on. You don't want to leave snapshots for performance and disk space reasons. You want to clean them up as soon as possible, generally within a day or two. Okay, at this point, not a lot to see here. I'm probably going to click on show details just to make this more interesting and then speed up this segment of video.
Okay, I'm back. It finished. It says the reboot's required. If we hit that, we can see a complete timeline. So you don't have to stare at it. It shows you everything. Cool. Go to summary and go to reboot. And now I can reboot the VM. It says reboot the system. Well, okay. We're rebooting Photon OS. Now, if we look over here, Of course, that's not going to work because we're in the middle of rebooting it. But host client uh, will work for the particular server where VCSA Appliance is running. And see the console there. And it already rebooted. All right. So once it's back up, I'll be able to log in here but it is likely way too early for Vami to show up. Wow, never mind. Always impressed by how fast Photon OS is at reboots compared to prior versions of ECSA, like in the 6.0 days where it was SUSE based. And we can get more frequent security updates and stuff now too. All kinds of benefits here. All right, let's do check for updates. Check repository, make sure that it doesn't find anything since December 19th is the date I'm Looking at uh, in the last build, uh, I fully expected it to say nothing to do here. So we're done there. How about this? Is this working? How do we know? It doesn't look like we're up yet. Yep, the usual stuff. So the server's just simply not working yet. Tomcat, uh, web server. Actually, I'm not sure if it's still Tomcat, but anyhow, I need to wait a little longer for me to finish up building my confidence that VCSA upgrade went well. Won't really know until we're able to log into the web UI. But we're done with Vami. And if you look here in the database, if you haven't seen this again, it's got some nice summary screens. That looked a little weird. Here we go. Overall health unknown. Okay, there's a workaround. So Mod Yunus uh, posted that this upgrade is available, said pay attention to release notes, but he also had a more recent post right here. If you see health status unknown, clear your browser's downloaded cache to fix it. Downloaded file cache. All right, so several ways we can do this. Let's see. Uh, easy is good if possible. So let's see if I can go with that. All right, so the vSphere client. Excuse me, the VAMI interface, right? So we want to go here. So now we have a URL bar with a little padlock on it. That will let us do some stuff. Hmm. All right, so remember he's asking us to, Adam Eckerly is asking us to download file cache to fix it. Browser's downloaded file cache. So we're not gonna find it here apparently. But what we can do is go here. Uh, let me think about this. Downloaded file cache. Mm. Clearing the whole cache, yes. Okay, so. Yeah, what I really wanted to do is download just a subset of what's needed. Maybe host app data? Not really sure. All right, time to give it a try. This fail, what I was hoping was to just maybe clear the cookie or something, right? And see if that would work. Reset settings for this site. Permissions for the fault. Hmm. Nope. All right, time for settings. Scroll down. Tools. Content settings, cookies, 
And this is what I tend to do here. I see the cookie data. And it's really VAMI that I want. So inside the cookie data is a bunch of stuff. Which one is VAMI? Session token. That looks promising. All right, so that one's gone. Let's see if that helped any. I can hit a five in my browser. It is repainting. And it's making me log in again. So that's a good sign. But we didn't get health or anything showing still. Which is a bad sign. So given Adam and others are saying you really got to clear everything, yeah, it's a little um, annoying. Oh, there it is. Local storage. So VCSA, any local storage, it's right here. It's right under my nose. Two of them. I'm going to nuke them both. That's done. See if I do any better here with an F5. Try log out and log in. Still no joy on that potential fix. Um, I'm surprised. <laughs> All right, and I really shouldn't have closed that tab. I was so confident and thinking it would work. Uh, what did I do? Uh, this is guest session. Wrong. Don't want that. I need to be in my VCSA session. So let me get us a URL bar back to make sure I reduce confusion, if that's still possible. <laughs> there we go. We got VAMI here, and then we got settings and me clearing cache here in the same exact browser instance. Hit refresh here. Normally you don't do that, right? Or you normally don't have a five or need to. But we are still having trouble. So now I'm going to go over to settings again. And let's have a look. Maybe it's just not local storage, maybe database storage as well. Uh, let's log out and log in again just in case. Makes a difference. And nothing. All right. So I'm going to remove all session IDs for VCSA. Pretty drastic, huh? And it still found some stuff. So VCSA, I've now deleted everything. Probably because the session was active, right? Should have logged out first. Huh. I still don't have it working. So now we got to go kind of nuclear here, but not too excited about that. Um, hmm. All right, back to settings. Go to advanced. Content is the part I want to be in. And uh, under cookies, well, we already did that. Cookie insight data. ECSA, what shows up? Just some cookies. Local storage showed up again, too. What if I log out first and give it one more try? Because I don't want to give up early. I like to uh, figure out what's really going on before I go kind of nuclear. You know, go with the most uh, drastic course of action. All right, what's going on here? Don't know. Doesn't seem to want to search again. See all cookie and site data. There, nothing. In again. So that thing's been booted for a while now. We really should have success with the status of it and we should be able to log into it, but it is still showing everything unknown. So it looks like I really do need to clear, clear everything. 
Ouch. Okay, I'm just going to clear cached stuff, but not cookies and browsing history. For all time. What's under advanced? Hmm. Let me go back to basic. All time cached images and files. 352 megabytes. Wow. Okay, that's done. And just for grins, uh, well, nah, just hit refresh, see what happens. We're good. Wow, okay. So you gotta clear all of that, but you know, it's not such a big deal because the data's still there. I mean, the cookies are still there. So it's not gonna act like you're a new visitor or first time or whatever, right? Like for instance, my save credentials, no big deal, I logged right back in. My shortcut works. I'm happy. Okay, so we got it through that little bump in the road. Uh, now, back to where I was supposed to be, and that was testing VCSA, sorry, the HTML5 interface or vSphere client view, and make sure that my clusters look fine, the VCSA updated appliance seems to be working okay. And the answer appears to be yes. If both my clusters, sorry, all three nodes of my cluster are still there, I'm good. Yep, got some warnings. Data center cluster, there we go. I am pretty comfortable now that I'm good. Uh, yeah, that host is turned off, so that's easy to explain that one. Okay, so what did I say? You never want to forget, after probably spending a day or two, um, making sure your appliance is good, especially if you're in a, if it's important to you or significant. If there's a problem for me it's just a test home lab right now so i'm going to go ahead and remove all snapshots so if we look at manage snapshots you'll see the one i made but it went well and i don't want to leave it so i'm going to hit delete all and this ends my video i've done an upgrade i made sure that vami interface looked clean um, hit some bumps in the road there and then deleted the snapshot. So at this point, once this cleanup on a slower, older SSD is done, the snapshot is gone, I'm ready to close this out. I'll speed up this boring section here until it's completed. Okay, that's done. So hopefully you found this video helpful. Thank you for watching, and thank you for visiting tinkertry.com.